Okay, I don't know if you guys can zoom in, but you can get <laughs> zoom. Oh, don't show zoom. it. I grew this monster just in time for this segment. I'm such a team player. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about Good for acne, you. that four-letter word we all can't stand. But you can be acne-free in three days. This is the book that makes it possible, and this is the author who wrote the book. Yes. Chris Gibson is here. Hello. Hey, it's great to be here. Well, thanks for being here, especially for me and my current little chin situation going on. But this is not just the fear that strikes teenagers. Adults mm, deal no, with acne I deal, as well. No, I deal with more adults than teenagers these days because for me, the problem started early, 11 to 25. I had it. I had the issue, and I took Tetris. I did everything. Look at look at your before and afters. Yeah. That's I, incredible. Plus, I was a little heavy there, wasn't I? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> But no, uh, yeah, it was a big deal for me because that's all I thought about. And I had cystic acne, the kind that causes scars. And my mm -hmm. parents were just worried because we'd had that issue in the family. Uh, and my aunts and uncles, some of them had had it. So there is a genetic connection to be predisposed, have a predisposition for it. But you know what? My sister never had it. So it was kind of stunk that way. You know, she looked good and I looked terrible. Did you try everything and anything? Everything. Spent Accutane, tetracycline, uh, thousands of dollars. And, and so many of those things have horrible side effects. They do, they do. And then I was trying the products in the stores, which have just gotten, they proliferated in the last 20 years. And um, what happened was it forced me out of the box. Said, the dermatologist said, here, here's another prescription for tetracycline. You're just going to have to live with it. I don't have anything else to do for you. So I was like, oh, no, I'm not. And so back then, no internet. So I spent a lot of time in the library reading about this problem and discovered what it really was and, and, and got away from the myths like trying to dry out my skin is really bad and that's what a lot of the products on the market do it's a seven it's a seven billion dollar industry the mm -hmm. cosmetics and skincare industry so a lot of this stuff's not really good for you mineral oil a lot of people are allergic to that on their skin it actually creates a airtight seal and what happens is that bacteria sits in there and sinks into the pores and your, your immune system reacts and you get the breakout. Because that's all it is, is a blocked pore. But if you're eating poorly and you have a lot of toxins in your system, you're more likely to break so out. So does oily skin cause acne? No, no, it, no, no. no. What it does not cause? Does not. What it does really? is it increases oil production, which the bacteria lives on. So that, it plays a role, but it does not actually cause it. It's a bacteria that causes it. So oh, trying to dry out your skin, what does your skin do? Produce more oil. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's where people go wrong. And I talk a lot about using like olive oil. You hear a lot of celebrities talking about this today. They're getting off of all of these products. But it's uh, really true. Olive it's oil really is true. so good. It is. And the bacteria doesn't like it. So it doesn't it doesn't multiply on your skin with olive oil the way it does with your human oil. I just want to talk about the things to do because if you get this book, you actually give step the by step. step, what step I did. It's so easy yeah, how to cure your acne. Yeah, what I did, and I, I, I switched to like tea tree oil. I still get a blocked pore every once in a while. I'll, that's what that is. Acne is when it's chronic condition <laughs> that continues to happen over and over and can cause scarring and infections in other areas of the body. Right. So it's a really serious problem. So you mentioned olive oil. Does diet really impact acne? Huge, huge. And I talk doctors, about that in the book. Doctors say it doesn't. They're changing their mind now. Really? I actually just had in Philadelphia a celebrity doctor came on and said, you know what, he's actually got something here because we're finding that the glycemic index in the blood, when you eat a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. rosacea, acne, those things react to that. So diet does play a role. And how quickly things move through you plays a role. And I talk a lot about that in there and, uh, in the book. And you talked just a little bit about this before, but you're talking about antibiotics curing. Yeah, it does no. actually creates the adult problem, and that's what I did. I took antibiotics so long that the yeast that lives in our system, and you hear about C. diff these days, yes. which is that inter intestinal infection caused by that. It's a, a yeast infection that gets inside your intestines, for lack of a better word, and creates all this poison, and that's what was happening. I kept getting acne breakouts. I was 25. I'm like, when does it stop? Because that was another myth. It'll go away when you get older. It didn't. So when I got rid of all the sugar, Went on a cleanse. I talk about that in the book, a three-day cleanse. Well, it's detoxing. Is it's what detoxing you're talking about. is what yeah. I did. And you know, people want to ask, does that really work? Well, three days later, the breakouts had stopped. I've never had an acne breakout since. Well, How often do you have to do it? Wow. What's that? How often do you de do? I do this. Detox? I do what I talk about there once a year now. Once but, a year. Yeah, I do. I oh, do it just for health okay. reasons. I could do that once a yeah, year. Yeah, it's not hard. The hardest thing is is eating apples for three yeah. days. It's like <laughs> you don't want to see apple anything after that for about a month. But it really does help. Now there are colon cleanses. There's Activia, the probiotics that you hear about, uh, the celebrities are endorsing now. They really do work to get things moving. And when that happens, a lot of your health issues clear up.
Well, Chris, if you want the book, of course, it's Acne Free in Three Days by Chris Gibson. If you're one of the 50% of adult women or 25% of adult men who have this acne problem or 80% of teenagers, you're going to need this book. And we also have a great, Chris brought uh, his soothing avocado facial. Yeah, and we're going to put that recipe on our website at abc4.com. All natural. Honey and oatmeal and wow. avocado. Yeah, it's and it's great for your face. Yeah, it's such so an good. interesting book, Chris. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, stick around, everybody.